Hey guys, SJ Airsoft here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the KJW M9. Starting off with the KJW M9 pistol, this is a very realistic M9 replica. Everything from the weight to the magazine capacity to the function of this gun is very realistic. This is a gas flowback pistol, meaning that every time you pull the trigger, the slide goes back and forth, just like a real gun. This gun is really solid. It is metal. The slide is metal. Lower frame is metal. Everything is pretty much metal except for the plastic grips right there, which is probably realistic to the real one. On the bottom of the frame, you do have a tactical rail, which you can mount uh, flashlights, lasers, stuff like that. The sights are a three-dot style, uh, realistic to the M9, like I said. Safety is activated by just pushing down right there, which is uh, ambidextrous on both sides. There's a safety right here, and there's a safety right here. This gun is double action, meaning that when I pull the trigger, hammer will go back like that. The magazine is a 25 round ma metal magazine. Um, it is green gas, so there's the green gas fill at the bottom. You just hold your can up there for five seconds, ready to go, fill it, and there's a, a spot to fill at the bottom right there. Now onto the pros and cons. This pistol is a very solid pistol for the money. This gun retail is usually around $99, but I got it on an air spot sale for $55. Um, you might notice, you may notice that the Air nozzle is a blue air nozzle, which for KJW means that it is CO2 ready. Though this gun does come with the green gas magazine, uh, you can use CO2 in it, but I probably would recommend just using green gas because it's less maintenance. Um, another pro is that it's very realistic. Even the takedown is realistic. Uh, take it down, you just cock it back. Um, it's a button on your other side, you push that, push it, pull the lever down slide comes right off. Put it back on, line it up, pull it back, lift up the lever. Now I'm moving on to the cons. The only con I have about this pistol is that the orange tip is painted on. Uh, with it painted on, I can't really attach a suppressor or anything onto it, but that's not really that big of a deal. Everything else about this pistol is really good. The weight, the, uh, the realism of it, just the feel of it is really nice. Um, this pistol also did come with some other grips, which you could have replaced on here, but I like the original ones because the other grips do feel kind of cheap. Um, that's just my opinion, but I didn't really like them. Um, other than that, this pistol is really good. The range on this pistol is amazing. It's probably as accurate as my rifle, actually. It just uh, shoots around two, uh, 280 FPS at 300, so it just doesn't have that great of a velocity using green gas, but that's to be expected with pistols. So thank you guys for watching and this is SJ Airsoft signing out. Remember to like, subscribe, and share and check out our Instagram for our giveaway.